Because there are people who disagree with what I'm saying, but I don't see them as the other. And there are several of my friends who I welcome as brothers, sisters, and they're just the opposite of me, but I still see the humanity within them. My name is Rodney Wilson, Dr. Rodney Wilson. I am planning to vote for Kamala Harris, and the main reason why is because we are not going back. When I was born, I was born in the 1950s, Cleveland, Ohio, into segregated situations. I went to segregated schools. Uh, my neighborhood was segregated. I was born before the civil rights legislation, before the civil rights bill, and before the housing rights legislation, before the voting rights legislation so I remember all of that and no I do not want to go back to those days voting is extremely important I've voted in every election since 1980 I do not plan to give up my vote for anything my parents encouraged my brother and I to vote and what's important about that is that my dad graduated very high honors at Central State University, the very first class, 1948. When he came out, the only thing available to him was to be a janitor. My mother graduated high honors out of college, got her master's degree in 1950 in education, and the only thing available to her was to be a maid. My father, since then, went ahead and became a scientist. He, before he died, he had six U.S. patents to his name. My, my mom taught 40 years in the school systems. Then her classes won a lot of awards. We still have a long way to go, but there was a time that they would not have wanted my mother and my father to vote. So when they moved to Ohio, then they were allowed to vote. So that has been ingrained in my family with my brother and with me. I know the Democratic Party is a big camp party, and you can't address everybody's ideas 100% of the time, so there'll be, have to be some type of compromise. But I still I would like to see the Democratic Party push through advances for women. I would like to see advances for voting. I'd like to see advances in education. I'd like to see further advances when it comes to medicine. During the COVID response, there were a lot of people of color who died. That should not have happened. And the Democratic Party is going to have to address those needs to be representative of the people who they say they want to represent. When I was a kid, it was a change from the old establishment from the 1950s towards John F. Kennedy being president in 1960. And then later there was generational change when Ronald Reagan was taking over. There's generational change when Bill Clinton was taking over. There's always been, been this push and pull with the younger generation versus the older generation. But despite all of that, we do take younger ideas. We do keep moving forward. We keep trying to be a better, a better country, a more advanced country, a forward-thinking country. It's always been that way. And so that push from the younger generation, that's natural. If the older generation listens to some of the ideas the younger generation has to offer, there's some good ideas out there. We have to be willing to listen. But that's every generation that goes through that struggle. But yet, we still keep moving forward.